Hey guys, Coach Chris here. So, welcome to the tribe. You have officially joined Spartan Fitness. You're ready to start your jujitsu journey. The first thing you gotta know how to do, and one of the most common things, uh, first questions that we get from people is, how do I tie my belt? How do I put on my uniform? So I'm gonna sort you out right now so you don't come in looking uh, like you don't know what's going on. So first of all, you've got your, your pants here. And in the jiu-jitsu pants that we sell, they've got four loops on it. Some of them have two, some of them have three, some of them have just one. I'm gonna show you how to tie it with this one. So one, the first thing you gotta know how to do is how to tighten up, cinch up your pants. Because they there's plenty of room in these guys, right? And sometimes it gets a little bit off. You have uneven ones. So I can just straighten them out. What I wanna do is I wanna pull laterally here. I don't wanna pull forward. Forward's not gonna get it done. That's not gonna tighten it up. You're gonna start rolling and you're gonna wind up losing your pants. You're gonna have your pants hanging around your drawers before, or before you know it's over with. Your butt's gonna be sticking out. That's embarrassing. We take pictures, we shoot a lot of video. So I wanna go here and I'm just gonna even it out. Right there. Once I've got it evened out, I'm gonna go through all four of these loops. One on either side, two, I'm right here, evened it out. It's nice and tight around my waist. I can cinch it up a little bit more if I want to. And then I'm just gonna tie the string right there in the middle, okay? The tag goes in the front of your jujitsu uniform, not in the back. If you come in here and you're tying it in the back where the loops are, uh, that's, you've got your pants on backwards, so fix yourself. Loops go in front, tie everything in front. It goes through all four of the loops to keep the string from drifting over your belly there. And you can take these guys and tuck this little excess away if you want to, but that's the first step. How do you put your pants on? All right, now that we got your trousers on, next step, putting on the gi and tying the belt. So I put the gi top on. I'm gonna go right side, inside, over the left to where the patches are showing. Now I'm gonna show you three different ways to tie the belt. So one, I wanna make sure that the belt is even. The first way here, and I'll just center it up, just like so, All right? So I should have two even sides on the right and the left. I'm gonna wrap it around, bring it back to the middle, and I'm gonna have a high side and a low side, okay? This side's gonna go over the top. The side that's going over the top is gonna go underneath both straps here both strands and back through. So again, I've got that high side and I've got that low side. What you want to avoid when you tie your belt is that twist right there. So what I want to do is I want to take the low side and I'm going to point down just like that. So I take the low side, I got one side in my right hand, one side in my left, the low side here, I'm going to flip that down. High side's going to go over the top, I'm going to push that through just like so and I should have a nice knot without the twist right there, nice flat knot. Now, this is a good method. This happens quick. You tie your belt on real quick in a tournament or something, right? But the problem is you got this, you got this overlap here in the back. We don't like that. So we film a lot in here. Cameras are in here all the time. You don't wanna be looking, you know, like you don't know what's going on. You wanna look squared away. So I'm gonna show you a little bit better way. So I'm gonna take this tag here and I'm gonna wrap it around to about the center of my back and I'm gonna pass it off to the other side, like so. Wrap it around, bring it all the way around and then I'm gonna bring it all back to center and even out the top side and the bottom side. So again, one side's over the top, one side's on the bottom, the side that's over the top, I'm gonna tuck it over everything. Now, one side's high, one side's low. Take the low side, flip that down. High side's gonna go over the top. Pass it through. No twist, nice, flat, perfect knot right here. Looking good. Two even sides, I'm ready to work. When you take your pictures, thumbs go in like this through everything, the knot sticks out, and then you look tough, just like so. Just a little FYI public service announcement there. Now, if I'm in the tournament, and I don't want my belt to come undone, or I wanna be able to roll and train without my belt coming undone the whole time, what I'm gonna do here is I'm gonna take the low side, just like I had before, high and low side. So from the same wrap, I'm here, I'm gonna take the low side, and I'm gonna slide it between the two straps right there. Everybody see that? Just like so. 
Then the top side, I'm gonna loop that through, and that is also gonna slide between the two straps right there. It should look like this. So on the finish, perfect flat knot right here. Everything's tucked under, no twist. I'm ready for action. This is gonna, this is an untieable knot. You can't untie this while you're rolling. This is gonna stay around your waist through the whole class or through the whole tournament. So you're not, your belt's not coming undone and while you're taking time to tie your belt, your opponent's recovering or every five seconds you're having to put your belt on. This is gonna stop. So if you got time, you can do it this way. But either the, the other two ways are pretty quick. That's what I got for you. That's how you put your uniform on. Trousers first, lateral movement here, loop it through, tie it in the front, tag goes in the front. Belt, I gave you three different options to tie your belt quick less quick and not quick but unstoppable this knot is not coming undone so that's what i got for you i see you guys on the map